have something about winning a race, something about a victory that never changes for you, or is it ever changing? You no, know, I think I appreciate the victories more now because, I mean, there's in my mind, they're harder to come by. Uh, I think with data sharing, it, it completely changed the game in, in NASCAR. <coughs> I think that it's very similar to other sports where I think that Michael Jordan was significantly better than the second best player in his day. Nowadays, the best player in the NBA, I think the second best is very close to the, to the best because they have more information, they have more data, they're starting sooner. And it's no different in racing. These kids are starting way earlier in their racing career than what we started. So they're better. I think the talent pool is better now than what it's ever been. So it's harder to win, which makes it where you're happier when you do win. So I, I think it, as you get older, you realize that it's just talent is, 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 is coming in bunches right behind you. you have a dog in the Super Bowl fight? No dog. Uh, but, you know, it's... I think the champs are going to still be the champs. I don't know. It's just I don't see it changing. I think it'll be close, but I don't think it change. Is the NFL the other sport for most of the driver core? You think? I know you're a big basketball fan, but is it mostly NFL in the? Yeah, probably. I mean, that's what you see the most engagement on, and, and obviously when you look at ratings from 2017, the top 20 rated events on TV, I like 17 of them were NFL. So I think that probably yes. That's what most people resonate to. How does it affect NASCAR that one of the announcers for the pregame of the Super Bowl is going to be a former NASCAR driver? Well, it just depends on the role, really, and, and whether it's a prominent role or is it just something that, you know, at the pregame at 2 o'clock on, on Sunday, you know, afternoon. So it, it just depends. I, I'd like to see what, what they're going to use them for. It, I would have said two or three years ago, there's no way Dale Jr. should be on TV. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, but he changed, and he, he really uh, has gotten so much better at it. And so, um, you know, when you think about Jeff Burton and those guys, I never thought they would be good at what they do. And, and lo, you know, lo and behold, you know, they go through an off season of, of training, and, and they sound great on TV. And I suspect that's going to be the same thing with Dale Jr. But with that big of an audience, it's got to help NASCAR. You would think it, it helps, but they, you know, they. It's not an active driver. It's this is a former driver, so you have to get people excited about current drivers, not former ones. Denny, you know, uh, with the new crop of drivers that are coming in, and you talked, we were talking about the uh, football dynamic. Uh, driving for Coach Gibbs, how much of an impact uh, does he have on newer talent coming in and grooming them in a good direction? Well, I think it's a combination of from JGR and Toyota. I think the Toyota plays a bigger role on driver development. Um, I think that they start them, you know, in two or three series lower than what JGR is looking at drivers. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, they have a good eye for talent. Uh, they always have. And uh, I think that they use the JGR platform mm -hmm. in which to groom that talent. So um, there's no better better organization that some of these young guys can get into is, is getting a you know, KVM truck or a JGR Xfinity car. It's, it's the best of the best. It's on you to perform at that point. Yeah. How many uh, phone calls are you personally making on uh, the showdown this year, trying to put that package together? And uh, do you have any kind of special plans for that event? I do. I actually just have a like a little booklet of ideas and things that we were, were thinking about doing. Not really ready to disclose them yet, but definitely uh, excited about how we're going to do it and you know, the format which we run. Uh, I'll have input on all that, and uh, obviously we still want to make it one of the biggest short track races that uh, we possibly can, just like we were two years ago. <laughs> to follow up on his question, you know, you talked about how great Toyota's development program is, but at this point there's no room at the end, and short of the 77 coming back to fruition, Christopher Bell has got to be one of the most talented drivers to come down the pike in a decade. Where's he going to go if there's not any place for him at Toyota at this point? Well, I think there's always a place as long as Furniture Road doesn't have four cars. There's always going to be a place um, that, that you can go. It's ultimately about sponsorship, though, right? I mean, that's that's the biggest been the biggest factor in the hiring and the firing of drivers in the last ten years: sponsorship. And so, you have to have it to 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 perform. Uh, that's just the way that the team's finances is: is that they have to run off the bottom line, and um, they're going to put who they think uh, is best for the job and financially makes sense. And so. 
Uh, I think that uh, you know we have four cars at JGR, but ultimately uh, Christopher Bell is, is part of the TRD family, the Toyota family, and there's other Toyota teams out there. How much security do you feel, and how much comfort does it give you knowing that you have the support of FedEx? And I mean, they've stood with you. I mean, throughout your career. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm in the first year of a new new deal this year, so I'm uh, very confident. Um, we we've been together for all of my career, which is me and Jimmy are the only two guys that can say that. And it's just, uh, yeah, it's you thank your lucky stars every day. You have a company like FedEx behind you, and uh, I saw they got named one of the top ten most admired companies, and for good reason. I mean, they're they're very loyal. Uh, they do the right thing, and, and obviously they're they're in here to win a championship, and that's what I want to do. And they feel like I'm the best fit to, to do that for them. Then you talked a little bit about Coach Gibbs and JGR being one of the best organizations. How did, how would you describe JD Gibbs' imprint on the organization? Well, he was instrumental in bringing me to JGR, which was, you know, I, he was the reason. He essentially is the reason I got hired at JGR. Uh, he's the one that traveled down to Hickory and watched me run laps in a late model in the middle of winter and told his dad that he thought I was something. And so uh, it, we have a strong bond with the whole Gibbs family, but especially JD and Melissa and, and his sons and whatnot. Um, you know, I think that Joe is priming his grandsons to eventually you know, take over the reins of Joe Gibbs Racing. And you got to have a long-term plan. Joe can't do this for, for forever, even though he's going to try. Uh, but you know, it's Joe, Joe Gibbs Racing is going to be in good hands no matter who has it. But uh, JD was a, such an instrumental part of my early career, and you know, it, it, there's a great picture uh, in, at my parents' house that my mom really, really likes. It's my very first start in Daytona, and it's me and JD sitting on the wall, and my dad is in the background, and it was kind of like the passing of the torch, right? You know, from my dad having to finance my racing career and be my mentor to JD then taking over so that's a special picture that we have. Have you had a chance to evaluate Ty yet? Ty Gibbs? Um, I've seen him I've watched him in, in person twice now um, and honestly when you're his age 14 or whatever he is he's it, it's so raw it's like there's so much refinement that has to be done between now and when he's ready to step up to the next level uh, but he's got the one thing that is hard to teach, and that's speed. And so, you can you can teach control after that. So, uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing where he takes this whole thing. Basketball head on, Virginia Tech. How are you feeling with their performance so far? Well, they beat North Carolina last night, which is good. That's yeah, the reason why I asked that they question. Need, they need more help if they want to make it in the tournament. They, I think they need uh, one more big win. Okay, thank you. You got it.